Hello, banana peppers. We actually have natural lighting today. Can you guys imagine? Can you guys imagine? It's the it's the sun. I'm trying to show you guys the sun, but then I just realized. Wait, is that eclipse thing? Ha Look at that clouds, clouds, the sun. Um, <laughs> is that eclipse thing going on tonight? I heard that you're not supposed to look at it, but I maybe I don't know what an eclipse is because to me I thought it was like to total eclipse. Uh, it covers any bright light, so why couldn't you look at it? I don't know. Somebody give me some sciencey knowledge. Teach me the ways of the world. Uh, anyway, you guys may already know what today's video is gonna be. It is gonna be another unboxing. I have caught the unboxing fever, and like I said, when I first started this channel, I thought that this would be a great place to do more of these, because it's kind of like a nice, chill, activity and I feel like it's gonna be a great way for me to start my day today to like ground myself in doing an activity uh, yesterday was like one of those crazy days I don't know if you guys ever have this life experience where you're just overwhelmed by the amount of choices of things that you either want to do or you think that you should be doing like yesterday I was like I'm gonna film a video no I'm gonna clean and reorganize my entire bathroom cabinets and shelves no I'm gonna blah 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 like it was just literally like in my mind, I was just like scrambling and I could not decide what to do. So I just ended up watching a bunch of true crime documentaries. Why not? That seems like a not productive at all way to spend a day, a Friday. Um, so I'm going to try and get back on track today and film for this channel and my main channel. Also, you guys, I stayed up last night like recording the like why I'm not procreating vlog and then... I was like so nervous about it that I just deleted it all. So we're gonna maybe try and talk about that again. Anyway, today we're gonna do another unboxing. And uh, last night, mid morning, I don't know what time I made this post. I'm always posting on there in the craziest times. Uh, but I asked you guys on my community tab on my main channel, which carton of low guys y'all wanted me to unbox on this channel today so it was between these which are called uh band camp 3000 labbits so they're all labbits playing instruments like little bunnies with instruments and stuff they're actually all different music groups it's like six different or five different music groups maybe and there's three like it's called like black black labbath so it's supposed to be like black sabbath and then there's like three members of that band um and so you guys i don't know how many banana peppers are on like hanging out on the community tab on my main channel but that has just been like my favorite thing all year i have been loving that so much you guys know that i've been in a funk for like a really long time just about the feeling that i was like kind of being disconnected from you guys and just not as much of an ability to like reach out talk to you guys like do polls or comments or just sharing like silly little inconsequential things and I really feel like having that community tab has like really given me that like those outlets back so once again I think I said it before but I don't I don't think you get notified about community posts unless you are subscribed to my main channel with notifications turned on because I think that that's how you get the notifications for the community tab but I asked you guys in a poll on that tab last night which ones you wanted me to open between these little bite-sized labbit keychains or the band camp labbits and 36,000 of you guys voted already which just seems like a crazy number for me for it to to have only been up for a couple of hours so thank you so much to everybody who participated and voted uh I, things like that is just fun to me we are gonna open them both and i feel like it is a crazy situation because the keychain labbits really like won out like 68 percent of you guys i think voted for the keychain ones but then there were so many comments like almost everybody who commented voted for the band camp labbits and so i'm like oh no it's like one of those posts you see on instagram where it's like like for ketchup comment for mustard and so you're like oh. uh so we're gonna do them both so we'll we might do these later this week the band camp labbits but today we're gonna do the little bite-sized labbit keychains and these look like there are a lot of different food options i'm gonna try and get really close to the camera but there's this one that looks like cheerios splashing into a bowl of milk 
and I don't know this video might be a little bit on the long side because generally I don't edit the videos on this channel most of you guys seem to be happy that I don't edit them because you like the more like raw style and uh, it also makes my life possible until I find an editor somehow somewhere so there is our beautiful standard silver packaging and you know what the dunny ones i think they do say dunny on the wrappers but these just say uh kid robot oh my gosh and we have a little guide for these sometimes we have these sometimes we don't but i always think these are cool where you get the little the little sheet um so who did we get first oh my gosh what is this one Oh my gosh, he's supposed to be like SpaghettiOs, I think. So it's a little, it's a little bun bun and he's got like a ladle in his mouth and then the bottom of his feet looks saucy uh, and then he's got all these little alphabet letters. That is so cute. Wait, does it say something? No, it just says, oh it does. It says ABC yum one two three adorable we're getting off to a good start already so he is what are you one out of every 24 so we might not see him again i think that this is a case of 24 i think most of the time it is always a case of 24 so case number two please excuse my fingernails they are not good looking and i'm trying to decide what color i want to paint them gel next i really liked this stuff this was some of that powder like the um it's supposed to be chrome powder but i didn't have like a water it's like a gel gel sealant with water or something I, this now i'm just rambling this is why i should be editing these videos uh but it to make it look like the actual chrome you're supposed to have a special base and i i didn't have that so this is how they turned out oh my gosh okay so this is like an ice cream cone truck so his feet look like little tires he has an ice cream cone sticking out of his mouth doesn't it almost look like a little beak and then it's so cute it looks like there's another little labbit on the inside serving ice cream cones and then he says enjoy five cents on his butt that is very, very cute. So he is, uh, oh my gosh, three out of every 24. We might be seeing him a lot today. Uh, more Labbits, more Labbits. That's like a nickname that Dogman calls me all the time is Labbit because of these. We've been collecting these forever. Who did we get now? Ooh, I think I know what this one is. It is, it is a Sushi Labbit. Sushi is arguably one of my favorite foods i'm trying to even see maybe it's supposed to be soy sauce the little thing in his mouth is so cool because i know you guys can see it now it's like clear on the top but then if you look at it it looks like almost like a navy color if you look at it from this angle look at that is what is that supposed to be is that supposed to be soy sauce i don't know but he is so so cute um, and he is, oh, so there's lots of different sushi versions. Wow. And all the sushis are pretty rare. Uh, so this one is one out of every 48. So it's actually kind of surprising that we got one in this case. I don't know what the most rare one is this time. What if we got another like super epic rare like we did in my unboxing the other day? That would be magical. Uh, who did we get? No. Oh my gosh, we got a bacon one. So this is a bacon wrapped labbit and he has a mustache. That is very, very, very cute. It makes me miss epic meal time where they're like bacon strips bacon strips i don't know why it's focusing over here like i can see where the little square is and it's like i want to focus on everything but your face or the object that you're holding he is one out of every 24. oh my gosh yeah. uh who are we gonna get next now you can see all the times that I would edit out where I say, who are we gonna get next? 500 times. Uh, so this one is like another ice cream labbit. So he just looks like chocolate 
ice cream covered in rainbow sprinkles and once again he has the little ice cream cone sticking out of his mouth and this time it is a chocolate ice cream cone of course to match the chocolate labbit so he is uh three out of every 24 so we might see quite a few more of him also i can't believe we haven't gotten cereal labbit yet i really want to see that one he's so cute <clears throat> i need a sippy sippy oh yay okay it's him oh my gosh he has a mustache that is so cute i guess i like it so much because like cereal is one of my favorite foods so here he is that is hilarious oh my gosh okay i just now got it hello he's supposed to have a milk mustache that's so cute it looks like there's like some green coloring on that side i don't know there he is a milk mustached labbit wait i just forgot i'm not editing this i just had a big long pause Okay, he's two out of every 24. We might get another one. Ugh. So, what are you guys doing today? It's a Saturday. I wonder if I'm going to get this video up on Saturday or if it's going to come out tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, ooh, this one looks very... Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. <gasps> no way. Is this the one I think it is? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, this is like incredible luck. And we have never, ever done this. Like in all the years, I think. I don't, I don't think we've ever done this. This is the actual total mystery one. He, they don't even tell you his rarity. Like if you look at the box or the chart, it just has a picture of him and it's got like a question out of question question. So we don't know even how rare he is, but look at how amazing this is. He's like a bone labbit. I was thinking like, oh, he's like a wishbone labbit because there is a wishbone and they do seem to all be like food related things. And I was like, what is, what is bones? Who eats bones? Uh, and then, but now I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's like a trash can labbit because the other side of him has a like half eaten apple. This one is amazing. And it's like perfectly spooky for my life because you know, the bones. But this is amazing. You guys, we've been having like epic luck with these and we've never done that. I'm gonna show Dogman, he's gonna be so excited. So excited. I actually ordered a case of mystery figures on eBay the other day and I cannot wait for them to come in. We might put that one on Graveyard Girl because I think Dogman is gonna open them with me. But it's actually a collection they're, they were called Doma Acid Sweeties, and they probably came out, I don't even know, like 2005, 2006, maybe 2006, 2007. Um, but it's like a collection that we started a million years ago, and there were some that we were looking for that we never got. And on eBay, I found a complete case of them all sealed that's like over 10 years old, so we bought it. Uh, so that one I just opened is another chocolate sprinkle ice cream labbit. And so I cannot wait to get those in. Uh, there's the one that we're looking for in that set though is like probably impossible to get because it was like something out of a hundred. So even buying a case of 24, like it's kind of like very doubtful that we'll get that one. Uh, but I don't know. I'm really excited to get those. I don't know when they're gonna get here or where they're coming from. eBay is like, I don't know, kind of a crazy website to me. <laughs> like I, I always prefer Amazon over eBay. Um, Oh, that's just me. Ooh, oh my gosh. This one is absolutely adorable too. And I don't know about you guys, but I love it when figures have like something like translucent about them. So this is the bubblegum labbit. So of course he's blowing a little pink bubble. I love the fact that this one is winking. And I also love the fact that he's got like, you know, the old timey metal wrapper bubble gum. I feel like more and more gum brands are doing paper wrappers now instead of metal. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? I mean, I know some people still do it, but what does that say? Pop? That's so cute. But I feel like nine times out of 10 when I 
like open a thing of bubblegum now it's always like a paper wrapper he's three out of every 24 we might see that one a lot more too uh the other one i'm looking for now is lemonade it's like a pink lemonade labbit i think that one's gonna be really cute too i mean all of these are really cute i've always loved labbits um i used to have a big stuffed one i don't know where he went but i've moved like four times since then so that could be an explanation for where he went uh, another chocolate sprinkle ice cream lab it we should be done with those now though because that's three and they are three out of every 24. i feel like i don't know also you guys have to let me know do you like it better when i'm filming like this and we're kind of like talking or did you like it better when i did the unboxings when it was just like a low camera angle just looking at the boxes and packets and stuff let me know because I'm curious, because I, I don't know, I kind of like doing it both ways. I feel like I get to like talk and interact with you guys more when I'm like this uh, versus just like my hands, which I feel is kind of more if you're just like an unboxing channel. We finally got a different ice cream labbit. So this one is only one out of every 24 and he is vanilla ice cream with rainbow sprinkles. This one is a little bit more pastel and a vanilla cone in the mouth so cute i really like these i'm still not sick of looking at them even though this is like our fourth ice cream themed lab actually fifth if you count the ice cream truck which we might still get a couple more of those um at this point i'm just like overjoyed though because we got the super mystery lab it like the rest of the case could be repeats i hope not i want to jinx myself oh my gosh we're halfway through with this box Ooh. It is over 100 degrees here today, Fahrenheit. You guys let me know what kind of temperatures you're having back home. It always mess. Whoa, no way. Oh, it is a different one. I was like, wait, we've already had three out of 24. Uh, you guys have to let me know what kind of temperatures you're having where you're at. This weather always throws me off because I go outside, I get overheated, overheated, and then I come inside and I start to feel really chilled because you go from like a hundred and whatever degrees. Because I don't know if this is like other places, but like right now today, it actually is like 101 degrees Fahrenheit. But then they always say with humidity and whatever that it feels like 107 or like, I think last week it, it felt like 110. So then like you're outside and then you go inside and they're just blasting you with air conditioning and then you get chilled and it just drives me crazy uh anyway back to this little guy and i kind of oh my gosh i just got it this is so cute so he is rocky road ice cream i was like what are these like at first i thought it was something coffee related because i thought these were beans how about a little bit of focusing thank you uh but i noticed it's like marshmallows and little almond pieces and he's ice cream once again chocolate ice cream just like rocky road that used to be like my favorite flavor of ice cream when i was a kid i feel like as i've gotten older i've gotten more bland where now i'm like um i'll just have two scoops of vanilla thanks and like when i was a kid i was like i want blue raspberry bubble gum with gummy bears inside of it um so there's that uh, evolution of my taste buds. A vlog. Um, let's see. I really wanted to do an outfit of the day today, but I don't know if I can like mobilize fast enough <laughs> to like get dressed by the time the sun is still out. I'm, I am definitely ready for fall because that is the game that I play now is like it's too hot to be out like full-fledged filming during the day outside because I would die uh, and then it's like at nighttime you you can't film so it's like too hot during the day we got another ice cream truck lab it so that one was a repeat too hot during the day uh, but can't film at night especially for like shoes fashion clothing kind of stuff but I don't know, maybe you guys didn't mind when I just filmed in my closet. I did that outfit of the day a couple weeks ago, the um, pastel metallic one. So we got a different kind of ice cream. There sure are a lot of ice cream labbits in this collection. Uh, so this one is Neapolitan ice cream. I forever and ever have called this Napoleon ice cream. I was really disappointed the day that I learned it was not called napoleon ice cream um I, I don't know why that was so funny to me i guess it's because i was like obsessed with like 
things having to do with France and like French history when I was a kid. That was like my jam. Uh, and so I was just like, it's Napoleon ice cream. And everyone was like, you're a doofus. It's Neapolitan. Dream killers. Uh, okay. Who is it now? Ooh, what is this one? This one is, di oh my gosh. New favorite, new favorite. So this is orange soda labbit. And it's definitely maybe the most magical one I've seen all day. I don't even see what his rarity is. Oh my gosh, okay, he's one out of 24. But his whole top part is like see-through, totally transparent. And he's even got these little, like, it's, I think it's supposed to like show fizz. Do you guys see these like little like pop kind of things? You know what I'm saying? Like his bottom is orange and it's full of bubbles. And then this is supposed to be like, oh, the fizz. I don't know, it's so cute. Like such a cute way to draw fizz. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's like, draw fizz, like what are you gonna draw? You know what I'm saying? I, I would not have come up with that. So cute, really love the little orange tail as well. And I hope it's focusing. I feel like the sun is like doing this crazy thing. <laughs> I always say that. I'm like so bad with natural light. So many things that I wish I would have taken the time to learn. Uh, like, you know, I don't know. I wish I would have like learned. But I feel like I don't even know if that was like a thing. Like, I wish I would have learned like editing and camera stuff and all that kind of jazz when I was going to school. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did take photography classes, but I feel like it was, like, very, like, we developed our own pictures. It was such cool stuff. It was, like, dark room, developing pictures, learning things. But it doesn't translate to, like, digital medium. We got another bubblegum labbit in that box. Uh, so it really doesn't help me out at all with what I'm doing now. Uh, but I wish I would have learned, like, how to use, like natural lighting for filming and stuff like that that would have been helpful but we don't really have a lot of classes like that down here maybe we do now do you know what i'm saying like stuff like i was in the apple store the other day and they were saying that they are like teaching like six-year-olds like basic coding now do you know what i'm saying like i feel like all of a sudden it is a very different world than when i was like taking classes and learning stuff we got spaghetti labbit and he is, uh, what is he? He is one out of every 24, so we might not see him again. So it looks like he is sneaking a noodle under his little mustache right here. And then he's all white, but his back has a pile of noodles and meatballs. This one is really cute. I really like these food ones. I think they're... So cute. How many times have I said cute? So cute. Um, who do we have left? I feel like there's a lot of different options this time. Oh, we still haven't gotten that pink lemonade one. He's one out of every 24, so hopefully we will be seeing him. Oh my gosh, wait, is this another? It's another bubblegum labbit. He must have been three out of every 24 because we've seen three of him uh is he yeah three out of every 24 so we probably won't be seeing him again we are on our last row you guys so we only have six left and i feel like there's still a lot of options of ones that we haven't seen i feel like also we're doing these really fast today right i had to start a new file i don't know why sometimes this camera is perfect because it never overheats like my old one did uh but it will just cut you off after 20 minutes uh and i'll just be talking to myself not noticing that the file like stopped and it stopped recording and then I'm like oh my gosh I've just lost the entire outro of my video we got another Napoleon labbit you guys I hope that the last row is not gonna be all repeats there are still so many labbits that we haven't seen I think there's a pancake one and a lemonade one there's a bubble tea one lots of labbits uh, oh, yay. Okay, finally, it is the pink lemonade labbit, which is very similar to the orange soda labbit because um, he's clear on the top. Love it, love it. Oh my gosh, do you know what, you guys? I feel like, no, you know what? This one's a little bit frosted too. But doesn't that one seem like a little bit more 
frosted even still because I was thinking like which I never understood that term okay where you like go to a different restaurant and then they're like oh do you want a frosted pink lemonade and I'm like okay sure uh what what does that mean I never really understood what the term frosted meant because whenever I go somewhere and order a frosted lemonade it's not like a slushy or anything it's just lemonade like loose liquid in a glass so I'm like what makes this frosted does anybody does anybody know uh so the little I was trying to look at what the little symbol on the front is and it looks like a lemon slice but it's pink to denote that it's pink lemonade and then he's got lemon slices whole lemons and an adorable little lemon tail really really love those ones all right last four before we shut the door maybe i'll upload this today like this afternoon so you guys if you're home bored or whatever is this like a lot of you guys' first weeks week back to school i know some people started on wednesday but i know a lot of you guys said that you don't start until september which is what i wish happened everywhere like honestly i think that that is better to start just a little bit later oh this one's cute too so it's the last like clear drink series or clear drink option and he is a little boba tea bubble tea so many different names for this i feel like everybody kind of has a different name for it and um on the glass there's a little letter t in a circle and i love the fact that he's like green that's so cool i don't think i've ever had green bubble tea maybe that's supposed to be like green tea or matcha hopefully that's how you say that all right last three. Oh my gosh now i want to open the other ones i just keep looking at the band camp labbits and i'm like oh let's open those next um all right who are we gonna get oh it's another ice cream truck one you guys definitely the three out of 24 ones we've gotten since we got the super mystery rare one i thought maybe that meant we wouldn't get like one of the three out of 24 but i think we've gotten all of the three out of 24 ones i think we've gotten three of each of those no because we we only got one um cereal one and i think you're supposed to at least get two and as i open my mouth there is the second repeat of the of the one that i really liked which is the cheerio labbit cheerio um all right you guys last labbit i always feel so sad when i get to the end of the case but here we go I feel like there's some we just didn't get that are supposed to be one out of 24. Oh yeah, I think there's like a pancake one. Hmm, maybe this will be him. Um, nope. <gasps> and it is, it's Pancake Labbit. This one is so cute. So he's kind of speckled. So he looks like, I don't know, like flower and it's not focusing there we go um you know just like a nice flour mixture to make a pancake and he has a yellow buttery mustache and then he has this little square of melted butter on him so so cute so you guys comment down below and let me know which ones were your favorite i definitely love the drink ones the most and the bubblegum one was another big time favorite of course i like the cereal one but definitely i'm just most jazzed that we did get the super rare mystery one that's so crazy i've never gotten that one before like i said where it's just like shadowed out and you don't even know the rarity or how many of them that there are uh so uh, I'm gonna get on it today you guys i think i'm gonna have i hope i have my big 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 video which was supposed to be up today i hope i can get it up tomorrow uh that'll be on my main channel and then i don't know i might come back tonight and like do another like talky vlog again because i definitely missed that but i just don't want to say anything that's gonna like get people angry which is why i filmed one last night and then deleted it <sighs> we'll see 
Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go eat some spaghetti for lunch though. I'm starving. So thank you guys for hanging out today and for watching and uh, Thank you guys so much again to everybody who's been participating on the community page and voting and It's just I don't know. I love I love doing what I love to do, but also like I don't know. It's just fun to like ask you guys like what you'd like to see next and stuff like that You know, so it is more of like a community sense and it's not just me like, like doing whatever floating in space now I'm just rambling. Nothing I'm saying is making any sense. But thank you guys for being here today. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, and I will see you guys again on this channel very soon. Love you guys. Bye!